Hey, I'm Kendara Blake, author of the Three Dark Crown series and this season's Epic Reads author in residence. Back with another set of book recommendations. This week, I want to talk to you guys about short story collections. I'm not talking about anthologies. Anthologies feature several authors all writing stories around the same topic. If you want anthologies, there are plenty of them to go around. Uh, horror anthologies, romance anthologies, historical fiction anthologies. I mean, you name it, you might be able to find it. I'm talking about single author short story collections. So one author, a bunch of short stories writing about whatever they want. And I think that it is a really great way to get to know a little bit more about an author's creativity and a little bit more about their style. From a creative standpoint, it, it allows writers to dip their toes into genres and styles that they wouldn't maybe tackle on a novel length project. So I really love single author short story collections because it just lets me get a really good look at these authors that I really admire. So I'm going to recommend a few of my favorite short story collections and tell you about maybe a few that are upcoming. So the first one I am recommending is Karen Russell's Vampires in the Leaven Grove. This is a fantastic collection. So imaginative. I mean, there is the titular story about vampires in a lemon grove. So you know right away, this is going to be kind of a magical and fantastical collection of stories. But some of them are very grounded and some of them are just bizarre. There is a story in here about human silkworms that will knock your friggin' socks off. I loved it. There's also a story in here where all of the dead US presidents are reincarnated as horses in the afterlife and they all like live together on this big horse farm. It's weird and fantastic. Vampires in the Lemon Grove, I first heard of this when a college professor pal of mine said he was teaching it to his creative writing students. And I'm like, oh really? And he, he told me about a couple of stories. I'm like, I gotta get down on that. So I immediately went and bought it like the same day and I just devoured it. It's so good. Yeah, I, I just, it, it robs me of words. It is so good. I think Karen Russell was either nominated for a Pulitzer. Yeah, she was a finalist and it shows. I mean, there is a reason. This is really good. Highly recommend Vampires in the Lemon Grove. Check it out. The next author of this short story collection is no stranger to any of you. It is Holly Black. Holly Black's The Poison Eaters and Other Stories. Oh, this is so wonderful. Holly Black's writing is so gorgeous at all times and she really gets to flex her creative muscles in this collection. Um, there are so many wonderful stories. If you read her novel, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, about the vampires and like her special Holly Black take on vampires, the original short story that that was expanded upon to create, it's in here, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. The spark is right in this collection. And the rest of the stories are equally good. It has been a long time since I've sat down and read this collection, but I still remember that there is one story where a girl challenges maybe the devil to an eating contest and she has to eat like a ton of gummy frogs and it's just such visceral writing. I mean, it's it's absolutely fabulous. You will not be disappointed. Like, like you're ever disappointed in anything Holly Black does. She's great and I really love this one. And I'll tell you what, this is one of the only short story collections, single author that I can think of from a YA writer. I mean, we need more of these, you guys, so please go and support them. Veronica Roth has one coming out this fall. I believe it is called The End and Other Beginnings, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. Lee Bardugo had one also, The Language of Thorns, which I would say counts because even though it's set like in the Grishaverse, it's just all completely separate fairy tales from within the Grishaverse, so it's not just stories like set with the same characters and everything. Like they're original different stories from within the entire world. So I would say that counts too. But off the top of my head, those are the only ones I can think of. So I would love to see single author short story collections by like Victoria Schwab and Jay Kristoff and just so many. I, oh, anyway, 
I'm gonna go off on a tangent here, but check this one out, Holly Black. Hers is available and it is so worth it. Next up, we have, oh, one of the great American short story writers, Raymond Carver. His collection is called Shortcuts, and this is a still from the motion picture. She's in clown makeup, but I don't know if you can tell, but that's actually, that's Lori Singer from Footloose. You know, Ariel from Footloose, like the original good one, not the remake, where all the kids who grew up in a town where you couldn't dance can suddenly dance like they were on Dancing with the Stars or something. So. Raymond Carver's Shortcuts, he is one of the masters of American short stories. Short stories on the whole, I love so much because, hey, it's equally hard to write short as it is to write long. And sometimes before bed, I just like a slice of life. That's what a short story is. It's just like a little slice of life, just enough you can read it from start to finish and have plenty to just sit back and go, mmm, and digest that. When I'm reading a great collection, like the ones that I'm recommending, I usually try to limit myself to like three stories per sitting because I want to make sure that I take the time in between to mm, fully reflect on each one. So shortcuts, all of the stories here, they're hard to describe because they touch on themes of misogyny. They touch on so many different facets of humanity. It's all very subtle. It's so well done. I don't really know how to recommend it other than to keep just doing this at you and just please encourage you to pick it up. Just while you're in a bookstore, just grab it off the shelf and read one of the stories and see. Just see for yourself before you even buy it. Ah, that one story was pretty badass. I'm gonna get the whole thing. Okay, next up is, oh, Angela Carter, The Bloody Chamber. Oh man, okay, so these are like kind of familiar fairy tales and legends kind of twisted around in a feminist, sensualized, and the language of Angela Carter, if you've never read Angela Carter, like you can chew her words for days. They're just, mmm, you ju your eyes just linger on the page. So The Bloody Chamber, I believe that one is her riff on the legend or the fairy tale of Bluebeard and, you know, the murdered wives. There's also a Puss in Boots in here. I believe there's a Little Red Riding Hood riff in here. There's just, it's a lot of familiar stories made completely fresh and completely new. There's Beauty and the Beast, there's some vampires, there's some werewolves. When I read this, I was immediately like blown away by the language and I'm like, oh my God, I have to write like this. So I tried and it turns out, you know, I, I can't. But the stories that I wrote under this book's thrall became some of my very first published short stories. So thank you, Angela Carter, and I highly recommend this collection. Okay, so I know I was talking about, you know, single author short story collections, and I already mentioned that we have a bunch of anthologies available, and I'm certainly not just going to stand here and recommend all of the anthologies that I personally have had stories in, because that would be silly. Whatever. Okay, but I am gonna talk about one, and disclaimer, I do have a story in it, but my story is like the worst one, so I feel justified in recommending this. So, it is Violent Ends. It's a novel in 17 points of view. It was curated and edited by the fabulous Sean David Hutchinson. There are stories in here by Delilah S. Dawson, E.M. Koki, Tom Levine, Courtney Summers, Courtney Summers, Hannah Moskowitz, Neil and Brandon Schusterman. So basically what Violent Ends is, is Sean David Hutchinson got us all together, like virtually, not all of us in the same room, and said, look, I wanna write a collection. I want there to be a collection based around the same school shooting. So I'm gonna give you the school shooting, I'm gonna give you the details, the time, the shooter, and I want you to just riff on it. And you have total free reign, except that you can't go from the viewpoint of the shooter. So in this book, a uh, boy named Kirby goes into a pep rally and he shoots up the pep rally and then he shoots himself. It's a very hard-hitting book. It's a very, unfortunately, a very timely issues book. Uh, I wish it wasn't. And it's so well done. You would 
never know that we didn't collaborate on this for months and months, but we actually never really spoke. We just kind of traded notes and traded characters and, you know, like one person would create a character and then it, that other character would be used in a different person's story in another way. And it just, it all came together so well. I'm really thrilled that I got to be a part of this collection. I think it's just riveting from start to finish and it almost requires discussion, but it definitely requires reflection. So Violent Ends is the last short story collection that I will recommend. And I mean, really, technically it's an anthology, but you know, come on. I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to recommend it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy short stories or maybe this video will encourage you to cultivate a love of short stories if you haven't enjoyed them before. They are, you know, so good, so good. If you're not reading short fiction, I just, please do, please give it a whirl. All right, uh, until next time, I don't know what I'm going to be talking about next. Oh, yeah, I think, I think my cat Armpit McGee is going to help me with the next video. So I hope that works out. All right, until next time, be sure to subscribe to Epic Reads for more great bookish content. And if you loved or hated any of the books that I recommend, please hit me up on social media and let me know because, you know, I like to talk about books. Later! Hi, I'm Kendara Blake, author of the Three Dark Crown series. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe to Epic Reads, click here.